Hey, today is Saturday and I am making some homemade keto chili. And if you want to find out the recipe for it, follow along and you'll see what I, how I made it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and you'll get all my videos that I make every week. Hi, I'm Terry. I've lost 175 pounds with keto and carnivore. Thank you for watching. We're going to cut up the beef and steak for um, the chili we're about to make. I have a variety of types of meat. Uh, it's all beef. Well, I'm going to put some ground chicken in it just to give it some texture also. But this is some really thinly sliced beef. I don't even remember what kind it was, but I'm going to just put a bunch of variety in there. So we're going to have a lot of different textures in our chili. We're also going to saute some onions and peppers. Um, this is definitely not carnivore, but um, it could be ketivore if you're trying to do that. got, like I said, some of this thinly sliced meat, and I am not going to season this meat yet. Um, if you watched my steaks and pork steak video just before this one, um, I'm going to be using that skillet that I had already seasoned the steaks and pork, ste uh, pork ribs with, so it's going to pick up some of those flavors. So that'll be good. And then I'll add more seasoning as I go. So I know this is probably blasphemy to some people as the, the thing I literally just cut up was a ribeye. And I apologize if that grind your gears and traumatized you, but all this meat has been in my freezer for, well, since October of 2022 so um yeah it's time to use it up so i'm gonna finish cutting this up and we'll move over to the oven i have the skillet reheating up again this is the one that i used for my steak so it still has all those good seasoning and fawn down in the bottom of it Need a new set of tongs. So I just put a blob of lard down in it. And I've got this stock pot back here because we're making chili. So as soon as that melts, I'll get back with you. All right, we're not looking for cooking our meat. I just want to get that fond off the bottom and get some flavor onto the beef. So, I'm just going to kind of saute it just a little bit before we put it into our stock pot. We're just going to see if we can get some of the seasoning that's on the left in the skillet onto our meat. So, I'll, I'll saute this up and I'll get back with you. So, it has been 30 minutes. I actually had to turn this down. My sister called, and uh, we've been on the phone. I just left it covered and turned it way down. But we're now going to switch to the stock pot over here. So I need to get, I'm going to dump this into there, and then, um, hold on, let me rearrange here. My sister lives up in Pennsylvania, so when she calls, it's nice to, you know, get a chance to talk to her. All right, so let me, let me do this kind of a thing because we're going to be using this skillet some more, too. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here's what we want to do. I do not know how much meat that was. this okay 
zero it out. We're going to put this into here to weigh it and then from here to the pot. This way you can see the process. So if you're making something, you know, you got to weigh things out to see how much things weigh. Of course, there's a whole lot of liquid in there, but that's all right. I'll, I'll count it too. So it is 2.3 pounds of meat. So I'm going to put that into here. Watch out, puppy dog. And we're going to get some onions and peppers in here. Just a second, I want to write that down. 2.3 pounds of meat. All right, so we're going to use a whole bag of peppers and onion blend. So let me get this open. So we're going to finish getting up the seasoning and we're going to add some seasonings to this as well so we can get some layering of the seasonings. But I've got this down low right now and um, I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it to help it defrost. Um, I still haven't figured out all my seasoning so I'm going to cover it and leave it covered for a few minutes and then we'll get back to this piece. Okay, it's starting to defrost a little bit. It's definitely not all the way done, but it's starting to soften up a little bit. So I'm going to add some things to it now. We're going to add some, oh, I need to get it open first, just a second here. We're going to add some fish sauce. I learned this from watching, um, I can't remember the name of the channel, but it's, um, You'll see Nisha Berry. It's her friend, Melissa. She has a channel, and I think she's got only like three different recipes on it. But chili is one of the things she has on her channel on YouTube. And uh, she also has a, um, a, a uh, like a web page. I think you, I don't know what you call them, blog. Anyway, I think it's called Cooking Keto with Faith, I think is what that is. But uh, whereas her YouTube channel's something, something Melissa, there, there'll be a link on Nisha's channel. But um, anyway, so that's where I got the fish sauce. So she uses fish sauce when she makes her chili. Kind of gives it a savory flavor. It just kind of ties everything together. It's the only thing I can use to describe it. It's salty and almost smoky. So that, I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Maybe. Well. Just to give it a little flavor. Remember, don't be afraid to add some seasonings. I'm going to add some salt and some no salt. And we're going to stir this up. And then just kind of let this saute a little bit to kind of help let the onions and peppers defrost and just kind of become a little more translucent. Plus, it's helping to get the rest of that fond from the bottom of the skillet out. So, and I'll be back in a little while with that. We're also gonna do some tomato paste. I've weighed it out so we can see how much we're gonna put in here. I'm not gonna use a bunch of like other stuff. So just the tomato paste. And I forgot we're going to add ground chicken too. All right, let's see how much that was. So 60 grams of tomato paste. And while that's going, I'm going to pour this chicken. It's the ground chicken. Oh, shoot, I forgot to weigh it. Well, I'll weigh one. Wait, let me write this down. Hang on. 
I forgot I had measured, I had weighed all these out when I made them, but I still remember what it weighed. Okay, they were 200 grams. I couldn't remember what it was, so. So I'm adding 400 grams of cooked ground chicken. That's gonna give it some of that, uh, just more texture to it. So I've just got this sitting back here on low, not doing anything to it, not adding anything else to it right now. Just letting it, I'm gonna put the, I'll leave the lid off of it. So now I'm gonna spread the tomato paste around in with the onions and peppers. And I'm not dumping out the liquid because I don't know if I'm going to need to add liquid to my chili in the end or not. So I'm just kind of, this way I can use that good onion and pepper juices for my liquid. And I have, I have some broth in the refrigerator. If I need to use it, I can. But um, anyway, so let's let this kind of continue to soften up and I'll come back. As that's coming along, I'm adding some jicama. I'll find out how much it weighs here in a minute. So 200 grams of jicama. About two, 230 gram jicama. And the reason why I did jicama is, you know, jicama, the texture doesn't really change. And um, some of the recipes that I see for chili, they add sugar. Well, we don't want sugar, and we know jicama is um, sweet, so that's a good option. We'll find out. We may have regrets about it. We may be like, ugh, hashtag regrets, but that's all right. So, now I'm pretty satisfied with how this is doing. I'm going to turn it off. Actually, no, I'm going to move this out front. So let me turn this up a little bit. Okay. Like I've said in the past, I don't like soup. Soup is for sick people. So, unless it's like a really, really thick soup, like, like, uh, <clears throat> Um, the butternut squash or or the uh, you know like the rutabaga soup that I made um, so I'm not going to add a bunch of water to this for a long time but now I want to add in some seasonings don't ask how much I'm just going to list what I use cumin Oops, I gotta turn that oven on. We're gonna add some cumin. We're gonna add some ground white pepper. I asked uh, my app or my, you know, my Alexa, Paprika. I asked her, um, what are some chili flavors, seasonings that are used in chili? So these, I just wrote down as many of them as I could hear her say. And um, these are the ones she used. So that was salt and um, no salt, paprika, some ground black pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some chili powder. That's the whole point of it is the chili powder. That's the star of the show right there, man. All right. You're not going to tell me how much chili powder I can use. There we go. All right. Um, then we're going to add a little bit of red, crushed red pepper. And we're going to use some of this Mrs. Dash Southwestern Chipotle seasoning. All right. So, which may have some of the things that I just plugged in it. So I don't, like I said, you add however much works for you and your family. If your family's sensitive to spice or sensitive to salt or whatever, go with what they say. Now I am going to put the lid on this 
and I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours and um, I'll get back to you because like I said the well the meat was already done because I had it covered for about 45 minutes while I was talking to my sister and uh, so really everything's cooked it just needs to bring the flavors together and finish defrosting the ground chicken and and all that stuff but what I am going to do is taste the inside of it at the bottom see what we think of the flavors Ooh, yeah I like that might do a little more chili powder later but I don't want to get carried away so I'm gonna set my spoon here out of the way I'm gonna put away all the seasonings except for the chili powder I'm gonna cover it and let it just simmer away for a while and I'll get back to you all. It's been one hour. That's how it's looking right now. I may not cook it a full two hours. I mean, I just said two hours randomly. Give it a taste. Hang on. Looks like a little piece of jicama, some ground chicken. I want a piece of the steak. I just want a variety of it in this one bite. Let's see what we think. I'm such a hot mess. That's good. And even the hickama still has a little bit of crunch. You could chop that down smaller. And you can take the place of like a bean. You know, that bean texture. Anyway, that's good. I did go back and add more chili powder and some turmeric. I want to take out a piece, just a piece of the hickama. There it is right there. I like that texture. Yeah, if you did it a little smaller, it could almost it could definitely replace the bean texture. So, all right, I'm gonna take this in six servings, and I'll show you that in just a second. Let me tell you a little bit about my God. I was like, oh man, what container am I gonna use? I just have one of this size left. I really didn't want to use a bigger one. I'm like, well. Because I want them all to be the same so I could weigh them out. I'm like, oh. well, so I went in my storage room. I'm like, I guess I'll get the bigger ones, which are this size. But it's only going to come up to here, so it would be a lot of waste. So I go in there. I open up my box. Now I already had one. Look, one, two, three, four, five. So I have six containers for six servings. I'm telling you what, sometimes God is just like, boop, there you go, Terry. I'll just help you out a little bit. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he's like, well, Terry, you should have done this or you should have done that. But anyway, it's funny how God does stuff. Okay, now let me get these in servings. So this is the piece that I don't always show. Um, I want to make, when I make a recipe and I want to make it even, I zero it out, 388. 446, 400, 390, close enough, 358, 375, close enough to 380, 370, 380, 395, 390. So I get them as close to the same uh, weight as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's how I do my stuff. So there you go. We have six chilies and that'll, that'll be six meals for the day or for the week. Here's a bird's eye view so you can see how they look. 
You can see the meat, beef and the chicken and the jicama and the peppers. So that's a bird's eye view of how they look. Oh, 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 and I figured it out. Six servings is six each one. Okay, wait a minute, let me zoom out a little bit here. Each one has 622 calories, 47.3 protein, 11.6 carbs, and 42 fat. So that's pretty good, only 11 total carbs in this. And that's not taking out fiber from the jicama and the onions and peppers, it's just total carbs. So there you go, that is my version of keto chili. And don't forget to label them because whenever you get so much food in the freezer and you grab it, you're gonna forget. So I label it chili as one six. So I know to go into my custom recipe and find chili and I know it's one sixth of the whole thing. So now I'm gonna put these in the freezer.